Good morning, folks. We've got looks at the sun, two interesting articles on planets and chaos, two excellent analyses of solar forcing of the terrestrial atmosphere, and we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where a couple more M-class solar flares erupted and another filament released as well. The filament was located just north of the incoming coronal hole. It had a collapse and plasma ejection event that will mostly or entirely miss Earth to the north. You can see the bright expanding signature from where the filament stood. Eruptive activity continues while we also take focus to the coronal hole, as its solar wind is likely to arrive at Earth early next week after the coronal hole directly faces Earth tomorrow. More sunspots are coming in behind that, by the way. Up first in the articles is an interesting look at why Jupiter-sized planets normally cause chaos in a solar system. While our gas giant protects the inner system from asteroids, many in other systems cause chaos and instability for smaller planets, including collision events. And speaking of which, a new study out of Caltech is looking back at an ancient collision the Earth had with a minor planet, which is a concept I don't really have much of a problem with. But then they go on to say that the remaining material from the minor planet is still stuck inside the Earth and is actually the LLSVP structures protruding out from the opposite sides of the core. That one's a bit harder to swallow as the formation and chemical makeup and positioning of the core mantle boundary structures suggests an internal mechanism and always has. On to the more proper studies with less guesswork, confirmation here of the solar forcing of the hydroclimate of southeastern Europe. This goes along with many other studies on solar forcing of precipitation, drought patterns, major floods, storms, and more. We complement that today with confirmation of the solar forcing of the southern annular mode, the SAM. We've seen several studies on this in the past, and it's good to get an update on the solar cycle forcing of this key weather pattern. Don't forget to get tickets to the Observer Ranch event on November 18th. Speaking of Observer Ranch, by the way, those who wanted to get their names on the Founder Wall, you can now do so one last time before we open next year. Founder Wall donations come with an Observer mug, and that can be found on our Shopify page where pre-orders of the new book can be found as well. Remember, we expect delivery at the end of the month to us, and then we will ship them out to you probably first week of December. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.